ITPC, Padre Piper, coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube, saying hello, YouTube Hype community. You know what I'm doing right now? I am traveling on the world's longest bridge over water, and I probably am going to keep this kind of short because I don't have an appropriate uh, camera set up in the vehicle to make these kinds of videos and I'm cruising along at 65 miles an hour on what's called the Lake, Lake Pontchartrain Causeway and this is in southeast Louisiana and it connects the North Shore and South Shore where I'm traveling South Shore to North Shore at the moment uh, of the Greater New Orleans area. We have this big lake, it's actually more like a lock, uh, called Pontchartrain and uh, there is a bridge that goes over. It's 24 miles long. And uh, it has the, the world's record of being the longest bridge over water. And uh, I've got some parishioners who are in uh, nursing facilities out on the North Shore. And so I'm heading out to see them. And it is a gorgeous day. Beautiful day here. But it is, uh, it's a windy day too. So, um, that's why I'm holding on with both hands right now as I'm trying to make this uh, this video for you just because uh, the wind is kind of whipping around and it, it makes for a little bit of a rough ride over the water but I am smoking today for the very first time uh, something from the Kramer's line of pipe tobaccos and that is Kramer's blend for Cary Grant and uh, first impression I like it. Now, I'm fond of the Kramer's Father Dempsey, and um, I have never had Dunhill's 965, which I understand is sort of the influence or inspiration that's behind uh, Father Dempsey by Kramer. But I do like that Father Dempsey, and I gotta tell you, this, this Cary Grant is not all that unlike Father Dempsey, in that uh, it's got some Latakia. Uh, I suspect there's some Orientals going on in there too because of the natural sweetness. And it's allegedly topped with an Irish mist making it ar aromatic. And that is definitely not a major player in the taste. Um, so this is kind of like a Father Dempsey's with a little bit more of a sweetness to it, but uh, kind of a natural sweetness, not, not that typical sort of sweetness you'd get from a casing and an aromatic but I see where the aromatic part of it comes into being because I had actually stopped over before I got on this 24 mile bridge I stopped over at um, my local tobacconist just to see what they had on the shelf and uh, picked up just because I've got the disorder the tobacco acquisition disorder I picked up a tin of um, Dorchester by Esoterica. Never had it and probably going to end up smoking a bowl out of it, get frustrated with it and give it away to somebody because me and Vapors, I don't know, they, we don't get along just yet. I'm trying. We're trying to learn how to be in relationship with each other, but I find them to be, for me anyway, a little bit of a high maintenance smoke. Uh, I smoke a little bit too aggressively, I think, sometimes for the Virginias and uh, so don't get the full benefit of them. But uh, I don't know where that ramble went off to. But, oh, I guess because I was telling you I'm smoking this Cara Grant for the, um, for the very first time. Also have a tin unopened of the uh, Danny K, which I'm uh, looking forward to trying at some point, too. But first impressions on this. Ah, I know where I was going. Let me get back on track here. So I stopped at the local tobacconist, and I had smoked um, the, the pipe, I don't know, for about two miles from the church over to uh, the tobacco shop and uh, got out and got back in and you know that's that's for me that's the good room note test is if you smoke in a closed area like that and then you leave the area for a few minutes and you come back in you get a true appreciation for the room note otherwise it's very difficult for me to get the room note from a tobacco that I am actually smoking it's like the uh, gustatory sense overtakes the olfactory sense. Taste overtakes smell and smell becomes secondary. But if you walk out of the room for a little bit, you come back in, you get that 
lingering room note. And when I got back into the, the car, um, I was impressed that this is this not leave the same room note that Father Dempsey leaves, even though, again, I find them to be very similar types of... Uh, so in terms of taste profile, I do find them to be very similar types of tobacco. Those two Kramers that I've tried, the Father Dempsey and the, uh, the, the, the Cary Grant, uh, definitely the Latakia is present in both, um, but the room note definitely, the, the nod for acceptability, I think if you were smoking around other people, particularly non-smokers, um, would go to Cary Grant's blend just because, boy, it really left a nice, nice room note in here. I'm going to be coming up on the end of this 24-mile bridge and probably need to put this camera down. Uh, so that one of the fine ladies or gentlemen who patrols this thing regularly doesn't see me doing this because I suspect this is probably uh, not safe and might not even be legal. But enjoying in my Eric Nording today some uh, some uh, Cary Grant's blend in by uh, Kramer and uh, just wanted to say hello to you. I wish there were a way I could turn this... Uh, phone over, maybe I could do that, I don't know, and show you the white caps that are out on Lake Pontchartrain today because of the wind. Uh, it's kind of a neat sight to see, but I don't think I can pull that off uh, safely at the moment. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to say hi, check in with you from uh, the Causeway Bridge over Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans, Louisiana, heading to the North Shore, and uh, wishing that uh, each of you, that whatever you're doing today, or have done today as you're watching this video that it's uh, it's brought you great joy. So, Padre Piper, signing off and wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, 